First reading, Isaiah chapter 8 verse 23 to 9 verse 3. For is not everything dark as night for a country in distress? As the past humbled the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, so the future will glorify the way of the sea, beyond the Jordan, the territory of the nations. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light, on the inhabitants of a country in shadow dark as death light has blazed forth. You have enlarged the nation, you have increased its joy, they rejoice before you as people rejoice at harvest time as they exult when they are dividing the spoils, for the yoke that weighed. On it, the bar across its shoulders, the rod of its oppressor, these you have broken as on the day of Midian. Responsorial Psalm, Psalms chapter 27 verse 1, 4, 13 to 14. Of David, Yahweh is my light and my salvation, whom should I fear? Yahweh is the fortress of my life, whom should I dread? One thing I ask of Yahweh, one thing I seek, to dwell in Yahweh's house all the days of my life, to enjoy the sweetness of Yahweh, to seek out his temple. This I believe, I shall see the goodness of Yahweh, in the land of the living. Put your hope in Yahweh, be strong, let your heart be bold, put your hope in Yahweh. Gospel, Matthew chapter 4 verse 12 to 23. Hearing that John had been arrested, he withdrew to Galilee, and leaving Nazara he went and settled in Capernaum, beside the lake, on the borders of Zebulun and Naphtali. This was to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet Isaiah, land of Zebulun, land of Naphtali, way of the sea beyond Jordan, Galilee of the nations, the people that lived in darkness have seen a great light, on those who lived in a country of shadow dark as death a light has dawned. From then onwards, Jesus began his proclamation with the message, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. As he was walking by the lake of Galilee he saw two brothers, Simon, who was called Peter, and his brother Andrew, they were making a cast into the lake with their net, for they were fishermen. And he said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of people. And at once they left their nets and followed him. Going on from there, he saw another pair of brothers, James son of Zebedee and his brother John. They were in their boat with their father Zebedee, mending their nets, and he called them, and at once, leaving the boat and their father, they followed him. He went round the whole of Galilee teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and curing all kinds of disease and illness among the people. Second reading, 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 10 to 13, 17. Brothers, I urge you, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, not to have factions among yourselves, but all to be in agreement in what you profess, so that you are perfectly united in your beliefs and judgments. From what Chloe's people have been telling me about you, brothers, it is clear that there are serious differences among you. What I mean is this, every one of you is declaring, I belong to Paul, or I belong to Apollos, or I belong to Cephas, where I belong to Christ, has Christ been split up? Was it Paul that was crucified for you, or was it in Paul's name that you were baptized? After all, Christ sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel, and not by means of wisdom of language, wise words which would make the cross of Christ pointless.